Some Republicans and Democrats think taxing marijuana could help solve the state's money problems. Republican Representative Bill Ream of Albuquerque filed the Marijuana Tax Act bill today. He's proposing a $25 tax for each ounce of marijuana distributed. That tax will go into the state's Medicaid fund, something he says the program is in desperate need of. Right now we've got about 880,000 uh, residents on Medicaid. So about half the state is on Medicaid. When you look at our state budget, and one area that's grossly underfunded right now is our Medicaid fund. Reem is awaiting a study to see how much money this tax would bring in. It would cover the distribution of medical marijuana and would include recreational marijuana if it becomes legal. While Representative Reem doesn't support legalizing recreational marijuana use, Two other lawmakers do. They have fought for years to change pot laws and feel they have a better shot this year. News 13's Marissa Lucero is here with details on their bills. Jess, the legislators say this year will be different. Why? The Democrats are back in full control of the legislature. Albuquerque Democratic Senator Jerry Ortiz Pino says his constitutional amendment is simple. It legalizes um, cannabis and industrial hemp for use by adults in the state of New Mexico. But what hasn't been simple for the last three years is getting his bill out of the Senate and into the House of Representatives. Kind of foolhardy for me to say, well, now we have a re Democratic majority in the House. But I think what we have is it's gotten closer each year. Because this is a constitutional amendment, it doesn't need the governor's signature. Just enough legislators to back it, then it's up to the voters. Others can shoot it down. Absolutely. And if they shoot it down, that stops it right there. The second bill proposed by Representative Bill McCamley, a Democrat from Las Cruces, aims to legalize and tax marijuana. All the factors that have to go into making marijuana legal in operation, how you protect the medical marijuana program, what the fines would be for somebody who, all of those details. Governor Susana Martinez, who's made her opposition clear, would have to give her stamp of approval. Ortiz Pino says this push is more than just about creating revenue for a state that's in financial crisis. We've created crime, we've, we've ruined lives, we've sent people to jail, we've kept them from college. All of those social consequences of prohibiting something that most of the people tell me is not as dangerous as alcohol is. If Ortiz Pino's constitutional amendment does pass this time around, it would be up for vote next year. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Marissa. We reached out to the governor for comment, asking if she thinks these bills have a better chance of passing. Now with the Democrats controlling both houses, her office sent us a statement saying, quote, the governor does not support legalizing drugs. The legislature starts on Tuesday with the governor's state of the state address. We'll be following the many bills that make their way through the roundhouse, both on air and online.